Okay, so today we're starting a project to make a worm farm. So why do we need a worm farm? Well, earthworms are, can be used for a lot of things, like uh, for fishing bait, for feeding your fish, uh, you know, like yeah, the fish you can raise, right? Or just for making uh, like recycle, organic recycling, right? So make, uh, make organic uh, soil. So basically, I want to make a worm farm, but I don't want to make it like dirty, like with the, all the all the dirt and everything. Um, so what? And I want to make it indoors, so I can keep them during the winter. So what I do? This is my uh, what I'm thinking. Use a plastic tub, any kind of tub, any size, and just put a lot of holes on the top so that they can breathe and make sure this is not a clear plastic tub because I don't I don't think the earthworm likes the, the sunlight that much so let's just uh, put a lot of holes there so that they can breathe and for the media uh, for the where they live I'm thinking of using shredded paper because you know they love to uh, earthworms like to eat paper, right? especially newspaper. So you can shred some newspaper, or th this is my pretty much just, just waste paper for uh, for office printing paper, printing uh, like an A4 uh, printing paper. But you can use newspaper as well. I, I'm sure they love to eat that. So I'm going to put this in there, pretty much, and then make it uh, a damp place. Then we're going to put what they love to eat, uh, like uh, your your apple yes. peels your leaves or whatever the organic green stuff uh, lettuce right in there so they can eat and just keep keep it moisturized like uh, spill some water in there and to keep it a damp place and put the lid on to keep it dark dark and damp place so they can live happily and eat your organic waste so so let's start get started first of all I want to put a lot of uh, holes on this box, so make sure you, you pick a, a box you don't want anymore because we're going to destroy it. Okay? So, to draw the holes, you could use anything like scissors or something, but to make it nice, I'm going to use my Dremel. Just make sure the hole is, I want to make it small enough so that they, they will try to escape from the, the hole. I guess, but um, I don't think they will because I'm only going to drill holes on the top, no, not on the side. Okay, only on the lid. So I don't think they can climb that that well. Anyway, so we'll try to make a small hole on the top and many of them, so they can breathe. Okay, so that's it. this box lid and probably got too many holes I don't think they need many that many holes but anyway it looks nice and so now we're ready to add the soil or soil replacement so just put all this shredded paper in there depending on how many worms you may keep you don't need too many because we're going to add the other organic waste as well. I'm trying to put half a box of these things in there. So, not too much. So, 
while it's raining outside, we're gonna go out and catch worms. And we're gonna put worms in there and use a spray bottle and spray some water all over to make it stand. And then we'll add the feeding stuff. Okay? So let's go catch worms. We'll have some worms here. This is one of the big fat worms. It's happily borrowed into the paper. So we're gonna spray the paper with water and we're gonna add some uh, apple peel or something or green leaves. <laughs> 